this is Leanne from Dynamic Speech Solutions. This is Ocean Life Theme Part 2. So I've had I've already made one video where I explained what I bring into the home when I'm doing a session in the summer and I really like to make it fun and so this is my Ocean Life theme and I've already gone over a few of the activities in the first video. So the second video I'm targeting um, more hands-on activities and I might read a book at the beginning of my session, which I've already gone over, work a puzzle, sing some songs. I also showed you a game that we play. I'm working on with a little boy how to say the W sound, the W sound. Not a sound that I've worked on very often in the 20 years I've been doing speech language pathology. So I was trying to make it creative and functional. And he says the word water a lot because he likes to go get his water he has a swimming pool and plays in the water. I've heard him say water and it sounds like yodder, 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 because he doesn't have his R's either. He's three years old. So um, it sounds like yada, and it's really hard to understand. So I thought I need to really focus on water. So I've been bringing a lot of water activities into our sessions, but this was the one that goes with our ocean life, which you can talk about the water with your ocean life so many times. He's really getting better at that sound. So what I did was I found at a garage sale um, some pieces that went with an aquarium that somebody was selling. It was really, really, really cheap. But I just get a little Tupperware box and I tried to do this in the child's bathroom. If you're in the school setting, I'm sure you can do whatever you want in your, your session, your um, therapy room. Or you can maybe do it in the person's kitchen on the floor where it's not gonna make a huge mess on the carpet. But um, it came, my little garage find came with the rocks that go at the bottom of the aquarium. And then if we're in the bathroom, we just use the faucet, but I'm gonna fill these. So we just work on the different steps. Let's put the rocks in. Now um, we focused on, of course, water, because he wants to pour the water in. And so he has to say water many times. So I might like, oh, we poured the water in, and he'll say water, then we'll take turns. and. Work on the word water, and if you're working on core words, you of course can work on pour in, or empty, now it's full, or rocks are at the bottom, you know, all those kinds of words that we're working on with our preschoolers, our kindergartners, um, those spatial concepts and attributes. It's wet, ooh, the water is wet. And then we talk about putting these items in. So you work on the core word, in, put in, put at the bottom. And amazingly, this rock floats, so we always laugh about that. It's like the heavy, it's supposed to be the heaviest thing and it floats. Um, we talk about different vocabulary that goes at the bottom of the ocean. There's algae, there's plants at the bottom of the ocean. There's coral in the ocean. That actually looks like a palm tree. I think this is the coral right here. So we talk about all the things at the bottom of the ocean. Then we talk about the different things like seashell and the different things that swim in the ocean. Now I'm not, I think alligators swim in brackish water, so, but they just love this alligator. So we always include it in the water. I mean, you can make this a pond, a lake, whatever you wanna do, but if it's the ocean, we try to focus on the whale and he works on the W in whale and then the dolphin, the shark. We just put them all in and we play with this for a little while. You know, oh, they're jumping, they're wet. Oh, I'm gonna swim over here. He's gonna hide under the shell. Where's the dolphin? Under the shell. So these are lots of different words you can use that target vocabulary, core words, spatial concepts. So I think it's a lot of fun. Um, one little boy did not wanna stop playing with it. So he, um, he just kept, we just kept playing with it um, and making it all the animals jump. And of course the alligator ended up wanting to eat. He kept saying, eat, eat. He's about two and a half and he's trying to increase his expressive vocabulary. So we worked on eat fish, eat well, eat plant, um, open mouth, you know, all those words to increase his vocabulary. The next one is something I found at Target recently and I actually haven't opened it yet. It's that sand that you can mold, and I haven't done this. I'm gonna probably have it in a Tupperware box so that I don't make a huge mess, but it just comes with the sand. You can talk about taking the sand out, putting it in, using the different ocean life to mold 
the sand and take it out, look at it, you know, play with it, make different molds. I'm not sure if this would last very long because it doesn't have very many ocean life with it, but it's just another little, it could be a, a reward at the end that we get to play with the sand. And you could still target goals while doing that. And the last activity that has been something I've had for, I think over 10 years probably, um, is this Finding Nemo character. I think his name's Bruce. And he has been a hit. Oh my goodness. Um, even, I mean, all boys and girls love this shark. Not many of them are afraid of him. It, um, I'm surprised, but he's been through a lot. He's, his batteries have corroded over the years and his tail has broken. So he no longer, whack. he used to make his fins move when he would be activated, but he does still speak. So you can say open. <laughs> Sorry, too much kelp. And then his tail used to move, so I just make him swim. I always make him swim around the room. And they laugh and they love it. But you can work on open or eat or feed Goodbye, me. Mate. So when you open his mouth, and I have these little finger puppets that I got at Target a few years ago. I don't know if they still have those, but they have all the different ocean life. And of course, sharks eat ocean life. You know, that's just part of life. So they like to make the shark eat the ocean life. So we talk about in, out, open, take out, put in, all kinds of core words. This is really good with the really little ones like my, my two-year-olds, my three-year-olds, they love it. And so I hope these activities were helpful for you and give you some new ideas maybe to do in a session. Um, you can find me on my website, www.dynamicspeechllc.com and you can connect with me on Facebook as well. So if you have any comments or anything you wanna add on to my activities, that'd be great. Love to hear new ideas. And